Hello everyone, this is P.T. Russell, host of the Journaling with P.T. podcast. And today I am including an entry that was recorded from January. Yes, all the way in January of 2024 with guest artist and stop motion extraordinaire, Mr. Diego Sanchez. So stay tuned for that and... For those of you who are new, welcome, 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 welcome. And if you're returning, thank you for for all of your support. You can reach me at journalingwithpt at gmail.com. If you want to reach out, if you want to say hi, I welcome everyone. DMs are always open at uh, journalingwithpt on Instagram and journalingwithpt on Facebook. Take care. Thank you again. You're listening to Journaling with PT. I am your host, artist PT Russell. This is a podcast that highlights creative voices and emerging artists from all around the world. Please stay tuned for my conversation with artists content creator, Mr. Diego Sanchez. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Journaling with PT podcast. My next guest is a video content creator and self-taught artist who specializes in claymation at Art Like Productions. Please welcome Diego Sanchez to the podcast. Hello, Diego. Hello. And how are you today, sir? I am good. I am good. How are you? I'm excellent. Uh, just as we had a deep freeze these past few days here in Canada. How is the weather in sunny California? Ah, uh, well, California always has good weather, so I can't complain, to be honest. But it is, it is like, you know, a little bit cold up here, I would say. The most we would experience in terms of cold would be probably like 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow, that's pretty comfortable, though. Yeah, yeah. I still have to wear a hoodie anytime when I leave the house, of course, you know. So, oh, um, but yeah, but I would say um, it never gets cold over here as mm. much you know as much in canada but we do have hot summers of course you know like mm. reaching up to like a, over 100 degrees oh, wow. so, oh, so yeah so yeah so those are the, the like you know at least summertime some people experience it uh, you know wants to experience a hot summer so mm-hmm. it all depends like you know on your guys's preference you know what i mean yeah and fun fact it gets really hot in canada too it, really oh yeah over 100 degrees fahrenheit some days. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah. So yeah. It's, it's it gets really warm here. People don't realize that. Oh wow. Oh, I mean, I did. I did. I mean, Aaron, Evan did tell me about it. I, I did so. Oh, like you know. Uh, so he w- We were just talking about the weather. Uh, uh, not like just recently. So he was just like telling me about about how cold it was. Like you know, uh, at, I think you guys were at thirty five degrees of Celsius. Uh, oh no no not Celsius that <laughs> or the, or that the, would be that, Fahrenheit. Sorry. <laughs> oh, oh sorry sorry Fahrenheit. Yeah, no, yeah, oh, yeah it gets tricky. <laughs> Thirty two degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Wait sorry yeah. Thirty two degrees Celsius is like in the eighties Fahrenheit. Okay yeah. gotcha yeah yeah. Yeah so what have you seen recently? Have you seen any films or TV? Um. So I would say the 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 recent films I have been um watching in, um is The Crown. I'm still trying to finish up the, the, oh, that wow. that series. Is uh, I'm not sure if you if you know the, mm-hmm. the series on Netflix, The Crown. Um, and then I've been um so far I am only been really looking forward to like uh the Percy Jackson and on Disney Plus. Okay. As, so that's been really really good. Um. Uh, so to be honest, I have not read the books. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, um, you know, I know it's probably different uh, when you watch the series in comparison to you know mm-hmm. 
reading and so but but yeah but so far that series is like so awesome like you know they talk about gods and everything else like oh man man, it's just amazing amazing so i mean uh, i'm not sure if you have disney plus but i I do do, i do i I, I would say i recommend that series well i'll take a peep at it but I, i had started the crown a few years ago very interesting love the score uh the opening credits beautifully done I, I just got sidetracked with other things, unfortunately. So, <laughs> oh yes, yes, same here, same here. I've been um, gets I get sidetracked so easily. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, but so far, uh, or, like you know, I've been trying to like get back into uh, like you know, making more videos, mm-hmm. and of course, I just recently like uh, fixed up one of my characters. Um, he um, it's like he's finally you know looks good as new, just the way I had him before when I first made him, um. um and it's a uh, juego, uh, uh, which is uh, um, also known as a double blade character. character. So, uh, so yeah. So, but yeah, but I haven't been able to make as much videos d- um, due to like you know um, have a new job. Uh, of course, you know that kind of interferes. You know, uh, on you know yes. making like you know videos. So, so I've been trying my best to like at least you know get back into it slowly at least. So. Yeah, you're, you're still almost... putting out great stuff. I've seen some of your videos, uh, and you're putting out great stuff. And how long have you been involved in the world of stop motion? You know, I just recently, um, I just recently started, uh, well, I, not recently, but I would say it all started like on March uh, of 2019. That's when I started to get into it. Um, in that point I, uh, in my life, I was going through like a, you know, a difficult time and, and what kept me, you know, you know, at least distracted, uh, was, was making stuff out of clay. And then, um, and that's when, um, like the whole beginning of the art, like production, uh, I was just like, you know, thinking, what can I do? You know, I want to post like some, something, uh, you know, or make something out of art, you know, so we were like coming up with the titles, um, um, uh, me and my girlfriend um so and she was just suggesting like you know like why don't you just say art like you know like you know you I mean since you don't know what you're gonna put in in there you know you can you can put a drawing or clay or like yeah. you know like or paintings but you know so just make it art like just to make it kind of more like a general base yeah that's a great and, idea and, and, and so yeah so that's how and so that's how it all came about uh-oh, and and then but mostly I've been posting some stuff that's mostly you know clay work right? yeah. so uh oh i do know how to draw but i'm not as good as i used to be uh I yeah you lose touch with it once you you put it down right just oh like with God. anything you get kind of rusty <laughs> yes yes oh my goodness is i remember uh, when i was in middle school i would draw like the most cutest characters mm-hmm. uh but oh my goodness it's been so long um um but yeah, I need to like you know get back to and uh, get back to it, and then just really try to like you know see what I can draw this time now, because you know now that I've been able to like you know make stuff out of clay, you know, right, you know right. I feel like I've I feel like I've mastered it, uh, you know, at least to at least to my maximum, at least. But I know there's always more room for improvement, so um, but I definitely wanted to like you know do some drawings and then also like i never done paintings i'll, I'll okay. say but i do i do like to you know oh um try, try to start on that uh, if i could uh um of which, course I mean, you, I can. you can try you can do whatever you want oh yes of course it's just more like you know the room the space of it mm-hmm. uh, you know because you need to have like you know like a space for all your paintings and everything else so True. And, and unfortunately yeah. i don't have the space uh, um just you know yeah. for uh, you know to have like you know like my own little art studio so right. which i would really really would love to have but in the future once i have that and i'll definitely you know make some room for like you know uh, for all types of art which it would be like you know clay pottery and, and um, drawings and, and charcoal charcoal like all oh that's great yeah of. that is great but you know with with drawing you can pretty much do that anywhere. Uh, you know, you can you, you can draw in your sketchbook, a sketchbook, just a sketchbook and pencils. Start with graphite. Start with colored pencils, or, oh, yeah. or just a pencil, and you can just oh, start. Yeah. Or a pen. I use pen sometimes just to sketch. So you oh, yeah. you don't really need much to start drawing. 
That's true. It's so easy. Drawing can you can easily get on oh, get into it very easily. And it can be just very like a simple line. You can just like like start with a line, start with a circle. It just need, you just need to like, you know, have the pen touch the paper and let the magic happen. Yes. And we're back with the wonderful Diego Sanchez. <laughs> All right. Uh, such wonderful backstory with your, your art, stop motion, claymation. What attracted you to the world of stop motion? I would say, um, yeah, uh, I, if I was, and to be honest, I think what attracted me the most when, when I was watching Wallace and Gromit. It, it like the um, when I first saw it, I thought it was very like lifelike, real to me. So and it, and it was just astonishing to me. So I was really amazed of like of like the whole context of it. It so and I wanted to make something almost somewhat similar to that. Uh, but of course, you know, oh, Wallace and Gromit is like, you know, amazing right now. Like, you know, you, and, and then they made movies and, and, he's, uh, movies. and so and I really wanted to like, you know, create something like that. And, and that's what really, uh, you know, drew me in um, to like doing some stop motion um, videos. So, yes. but of course, you know, I wanted to do something more like, you know, that involved with reptiles, uh, uh, monsters of all kinds, um, dinosaur influence, dragons influence. So all the, the things that you can think of. Uh, so, but most of my uh, creations uh, that I make are, mm -hmm. are mostly animal based. So, and most of my inspiration comes from watching a lot of documentaries. He's like, um, um, mostly from David Attenborough's uh, documentaries. Oh, I love which I David a, Attenborough. <laughs> Oh yes, he's a he's a big influence on my artwork. I would say, like a part of it, it, it because you know you're learning a lot from him, and and, and that's what mm -hmm. uh, like I spend most of my time, like literally, Italy. I would spend watching a lot of his uh, documentaries on HBO Max. Like you know, like I just recently mm -hmm. finished uh, his um, um, his documentary series called Africa. So it's just. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, finishing watching that and it was just very um emotional especially there was one scene which was showing about an elephant which it was very heartbreaking because you know it was a baby elephant and a mother elephant and um and it was very uh, sad uh, to see how the the baby didn't make it so yeah. oh and and it and as as much as that was sad it also kind of at the same time gave me some inspiration to make something more of an emotional video so it was so uh, so i made some like videos that would be emotional sometimes so so that's what i was also trying to like you know find and it was very very like you know touching when i saw that so but yeah but most of my uh, creations are mostly influenced um by nature yeah it's amazing how you animate your characters to emote so well I've never seen stop motion so expressively pure and just, you know, it just, you, you, there's a, a connection that I have with these, these creatures that you've created and it's, it's beautiful what you've done. Uh, what is your process in, in, in creating them when you actually create the characters? You know what? It, mm -hmm. It's surprising. I, I don't have like a, a, a like a process in a way. I, um, all the videos that you see were mi mostly done on the spot. Uh, all of them uh, were done with Amazing. no plan, no, no no sketches. It's just like you know. I know there was like a you know you guys would make like a like a like a like a storyline mm -hmm. uh, of how you want the uh, want it um, for it to be done. But I honestly do not do that at all. Uh, also, so what I just do it, um. And this is my process. I mean, and it depends on you know every artist. Some artists, you know, have like you know some sort of process or or like some sketch or like you know a plan in order to develop something. A script creative. or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, me, I would just go on my desk, play some music on the background, or place uh, you know some documentary series in the background, and and then I would have whatever color clay I have in there, there um, molded. 
and just go with the flow, with the feel for it, it, and just make something like that happen. And so, and I mostly go with what the clay wants to do because sometimes it's hard to make the clay stand still, you know, so, or, or make it, you know, in a way that you want to pose it. So it doesn't stay in position for so long. So most of the time it takes over, you know, of what it wants to do. <laughs> so, and trust me, it's so frustrating when, when sometimes it just falls when you're trying to like, you know, create the video yeah. oh like you know like all the photos oh my goodness then that and and when that happens i just decided like okay we'll just make it seem like you know it just fell asleep all of a sudden oh, wow. <laughs> so, yeah so, so it's just creating this just improvising as you're going basically is what you're doing yes yes a lot That's of fascinating. improvising yeah a lot of improvising and using um um but but yeah no plan whatsoever on my uh you know on my creations because I mean, and then of course, like, you know, uh, you know, it would, I know it would be nice to have a plan because to be honest, I do get stuck, uh, you know, oh, but, but in general though, oh, I just let it come to me, let it like, you know, you know, just let the spark happen on its own because sometimes, you know, when you're just stuck and having a writer's block, sometimes you just have to go around um, looking for something that would, that would be inspirational. And then once the inspiration hits, just go ahead, go at the desk, which that's what I would do and just make something happen right there I, I totally get you because i'm like that sometimes when i'm creating art especially an abstract piece i am going more by the expression wanting to be released and how i feel in the moment when i'm creating as opposed to planning and sketching something on a, on a canvas on paper and then painting over it and sometimes yeah. you just want to have that freedom to create how you choose in the moment and I totally yes. get it, but I've never seen it done with stop motion or claymation, and it's uh, it's wonderful, wonderful what you've done. Uh, where can folks find you, by the way? I just want them to to look at your videos. Yeah, um, well, I'm. They can most they mostly can find me on Instagram. That's where I I um, started overall. Uh, so you can see all of my, you know, like you know the way where I, the way the way things began. Like you know, I started like in 2019. Um, so you can see all the videos from uh, from there, there um, and that's at art art like underscore yes. productions, right? Correct. Okay. And and I and now you can now, they can also find me on YouTube and TikTok, which uh, which I just recently just made TikTok not too long ago. Like like it was just last year, of, I think around June. And so so, yes. but I wasn't on there as much because I was still trying to figure out how that worked <laughs> so, uh, yeah. so, like all yeah, of us yeah it's like you know it's still it's still strange to me like i'm still trying to figure out how it all works but yeah but yeah but i've been posting like you know all my videos on youtube and tiktok just to kind of like you know have a you know a wider platform awesome right. so luda blue yeah. and spiral just to name a few are characters yeah. that you animate in your videos where do you get the, those cute little names from? Um, sometimes uh, um, it just like, um, you know, I was just trying to like, you know, come up with random names. I mean, like, to be honest, that that's the process that's very stressful to me because I'm trying to come up with a, you know, a name that would be suitable for a reptile, monster, dinosaur-like creature. Right. You know, it, so, so Luda... Uh, uh, um, um was like was one character i was like trying to think of like you know at least his original one was like ludicrous but then i was like thinking like no because then then they'll think of the rapper so so right. so i decided just to decide just to stick with luda uh, uh so oh and there's like um an inspiro um um was just like something i was just like thinking like hmm, maybe there's like this uh you know name i can come up with and at the time i'm uh, I did remember recalling like there was like a, a video game thing of a dragon Spyro. Yes. Uh, so and I was just thinking like, okay, maybe I'll go with that. You know, since you know he hasn't been heard much. You know, so I was thinking like you know just you know bringing that name back. Like, so, but but the other ones uh, like um, of the other uh, characters like the recent one I just um, finished fixing up. Re uh, you know, kind of like refurbishing um, is Juego, which is uh, which to be honest, he's like. Um, one of my uh, one of the few characters that has like 
you know, like blades, uh, you know, um, that's attached to his arms. And so, and there's like a, some videos, I'm not sure if you've seen um, the videos I, uh, you know, where he's in, where he's able to like cut a log and he just like. Yes, you know. I've seen, I've seen a lot of them. You have a lot of videos and they're really entertaining. So I would yeah. encourage anyone listening to check them out. Very emotional. Uh, I love the colors are lovely, especially the pastels, the pinks, the purples. It's just so wonderful what you've done, even with blue. Blue is a recurring character. I think a, a few of them you've made videos of the same characters. And yes, yes and I'd love to see that. Yes, I'm trying to, um, like, um, I'm trying to, like, you know, bring them back because uh, uh, most of them, they've been, like, you know, um, uh, in boxes and some of them are just, like, on display. So I'm trying to, uh, like, get them back in, in, you know um, to making more videos with them and but of course you know with the whole you know uh, the job it, it kind of like you know prevents me from doing that but lately I've been you know getting back into it right? um, so I'm currently working on you know um, refurbishing Soto uh oh he, he's one of the characters uh, so right now he's in the works of you know getting fixed up and you know he's gonna get a new new and improved look, look so i can't wait to show him off uh -uh, because you know he's actually only one he's only one character in there that actually flies wow. as, as to well actually there was another character but um he died off uh, of uh, you know due to the unfortunate events if you if you guys see the videos mm -hmm. so um but yeah but soto at the moment is the only flying I would say he's like the flying dragon. I can switch. In my opinion, he's like a really cool flying, uh, you know, dragon. Wow. I love it. This is just fascinating to me. <laughs> All of it. <laughs> and especially your approach to your creativity, the way you approach it is, is for me, is unique. I don't know everything there is to know about uh, uh, stop motion, but you know, just hearing your process, it's, it, uh, it's really something to behold. Yeah. Appreciate Neither do I. Like I, I, I honestly like like when I first uh, started with stop motion, I had no idea how to like you know make stop motion at all. Like like uh, until you know uh, my girlfriend was like telling me there's like apps that you can use, you know, and then and then I was just like trying to like experiment. Like throughout this whole journey, I just experiment throughout the whole time. Like you know, I had no plan. There was, like you know, I just did it it and you know you just go with the flow and i think that's like one of the things that you know at least the way i approach it because in life i didn't have any plans you know at all because sometimes when you do plan things you know they don't go the way as you plan it and, and if even if you do have a plan sometimes it's hard to like you know pivot to plan b or plan c so right. uh, so for me i just you know with this whole um journey of stop motion i just decided to go with you know like well, i'll just go with the flow uh, do what uh, do what i think might be right at the moment you know if inspiration hits that's when i start creating and so and then that's when i will start you know making a video or posting a you know a you know a, one of my new characters i have developed and all that so you know, it just really depends on you know on your you know on the artist's uh, you know process and how they want to approach things at least, you know, as me, I like to approach it that way. So, but it's very hard and it's not for everyone. Right. Thank you so much for that, for sharing that. And in closing, when you're not creating, how do you mm -hmm. prefer to like unwind and relax when you're not creating stop motion? Oh my goodness. Uh, gym. <laughs> What's that? Gym. Gym? Okay. Gym, like, like working out at the gym. Mm -hmm. And, and like for me, I am constantly at the gym and, and as a way of like just um, unwinding. I mean, that's my way of unwinding because if you've been sitting at a desk for a long time uh, I'm, and, 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 you know, and you're trying to make your characters, you know, stay still or do like a certain position and, um, you know, you're mostly sitting on your butt and, you, and your body starts to feel very stiff. So I have been working out uh, a lot just so that I can still, you know, feel like I can still move. Wow. <laughs> so, well, that's great. I'm glad that you have that outlet. <laughs> yes. As, and of course, another way I unwind is just also watching more of David Attenborough's uh, 
uh, documentaries or just simply watch like anything um, that's on TV. Uh, but but most of the time when I'm like, you know, unwinding, I still do like clay stuff. I still mold uh, uh, old like, you know, characters. So to be honest, I have like some other creations that I just haven't really um, shown uh, on because, you know, right now they're like still in the works and they're also like, you know, um, whether I wanted to like, you know, release it or, or not release it. So, so it's still kind of like, you know, so, so yeah, so I would say I'm still always working, working, like, you know, on stop motion. So, um, but most of the time I'm literally, you know, even if I'm at work, Mm -hmm. I would have a clay in my hand and and while I'm working. So I would just mold stuff and just like come up with some ideas that is, or just like think of like, you know, what will be, you know, something I can make out of this little tiny ball of clay. So, and I would just make, anything random in them as a way of like, you know, you know, just unwinding. Cause you know, sometimes it's just, you know, just want to like make something. So that's how I definitely unwind. Oh, that's awesome. Diego, it's been absolutely wonderful having you here with us on the podcast. I really appreciate you sharing some of your creative processes with us and the information will be in the show notes. If folks want to follow you or see what you're doing that'd be great yes and so it's great having you all the very very best yes and thank you for having me it was a it was a pleasure awesome take care now thank you you were listening to journaling with pt and a conversation with stop motion artist Mr. Diego Sanchez of Art Like Productions visit him on Instagram or YouTube subscribe subscribe to the Journaling with PP podcast or follow and as always please stay tuned 